Hello and welcome back. My name is Jose Gabriel, a real estate broker, real estate instructor here in Florida. So in, in this video, we're going to look at some of the basics of what you should consider when you're getting ready to sell a property. So let's take a look. Now, just a quick reminder that the information that's provided in this video should not be considered as legal or financial advice. If you need assistance in these areas, you should contact a professional that is licensed to provide those services. Okay, so the first thing that I would say is that every property is unique. So you're not going to use the exact same formula for every property. So depending on the condition of the property, uh, has it been upgraded? Uh, was it done recently? Uh, what is the market trends? How much inventory? What's the competition? So all of that would need to be uh, taken into consideration, right? Now, having said that, there are some general things that are kind of common sense uh, and do go a long way when you're trying to sell the property, right? Um, I say common sense, but for some people, it's not necessarily so. I'll give you an example. Uh, first of all, you should keep things neutral, okay, as much as possible. Um, years ago, I remember going to a condo and the owner um, basically had decorated everything in baby blue. So the carpeting was baby blue, the walls were baby blue, the furniture was baby blue, I remember the sofa was baby blue, uh, the window treatments were baby blue, and her position was, well, as you can see, this unit is, uh, you know, this, decorated in a very unique fashion so consequently I, I'm sure that it's gonna move very quickly on the market that's not true at all um, it was her particular taste and you know I told her unfortunately uh, well, it's not everyone's gonna appreciate uh, your good taste so we need to tone it down a little bit or try to make it as neutral as possible okay so I mean look if there's no inventory if that was the only unit available um, then it doesn't really matter it's gonna sell in any case uh, but if you have a lot of competition to sell, then obviously you want to make it as neutral as possible. Uh, first impressions are key. Um, you know, when somebody's walking up to the property, if they just totally turned off by the this you know condition that it's in that's never a good thing you also need to keep in mind also the the curb appeal as you're getting out of the car. I've had situations where people get out of the car, they look at the house and just say nope. Not, not even interested in going inside. So um, it just, the curb appeal, you know, is it somewhat attractive even from the street, right, from the curb? Uh, things like the paint on the front door. If you're going into a house and it is completely filthy or scratched or whatever, that's never a good thing. And how much does it cost to just paint the door, right? This is kind of cosmetic and it's simple. So again, common sense. Uh, that's something you may want to consider. Um, and perhaps a little mulch and cutting the grass. So uh, a little bit of yard work is not that expensive uh, and it's definitely worthwhile. If it looks like it's overgrown and everything, it just looks like this property has never been taken care of, that's going to turn off a lot of potential buyers, right? All right, so small things go a, a long ways, as I just mentioned. A little bit of paint, uh, neutral, both inside and out, if possible. Now, I realize that sometimes the sellers don't have the resources or the time or the inclination to do that, and that's fine. But if you want to sell the property, these are things that you should do, if, if possible. Declutter, uh, open, and some, some people feel like they need to fill out every single space on a wall, and that's not good. It just makes it look more crowded. Same thing with furniture. Uh, you not, you want to make it look like it's open and very spacious and if it's just crowded with furniture all over the place you may want to put that some of that in the garage in the meantime to make it look a little bit more open. Uh, a lot of people have pets and there's nothing wrong with pets but a lot of times they give off some pretty strong odors. I've, I've shown properties with a cat box. Believe me, we have a cat. so. Uh, but the cat box hasn't really been cleaned and the smell is, is strong. Sometimes people with their dogs, they have big dogs that shed a lot of hair and they're not on clean up as often as they probably can. That would turn tends to turn off a lot of people. So nothing wrong with the pet, but um, you need to be cognizant that not everybody is, is an animal person. So again, keeping it neutral as much as possible. Um, you want to depersonalize the the home also um, if it's something that's very specific or, or you know you have pictures of grandma all over the place that's probably not ideal you want to make um, keep it neutral so that they walk in and they can picture themselves in that house with their own family pictures as opposed to your family pictures right so um, just again you want to declutter and keep it simple 
Uh, required repairs, uh, if the, you know, the garbage disposal is not properly functioning, uh, there's a ceiling fan that's not properly functioning, you either repair it or you fully disclose it, one or the other, especially, um, you know, the bigger the item is. So you want to address it one way or the other. Uh, we do rental properties as well. I usually, we first thing we do is usually take out the ceiling fans. It's just one other thing that can cause problems. So, um, again, either repair it um, or fully disclose one or the other and that's it uh, basically that's at a high level uh, what you need to do when you're preparing the property for sale uh, we'll do for uh, additional videos in the uh, in the future with a little bit more details than, than this but this is just to give you at a high level some ideas uh, hopefully you found that useful practical uh, if you have any suggestions recommendations for me please by all means reach out to me and let me know in the meantime thank you very much for visiting us and uh, please do stay safe <laughs>